George H. Bush was the 41st president of America, whose term saw the collapse of the Soviet Union and the end of the Cold War. He also led the U.S. in the 1991 Gulf War against Iraq. George Herbert Walker Bush was born on June 12, 1924, in Milton, Massachusetts. His family moved to Texas when he was only two, so he considers himself a Texan. He came from a wealthy family, and his father, Prescott Sheldon Bush, was a successful investment banker. George H. Bush had a range of government positions prior to becoming president, including U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations and Director of the CIA. The career of George H. Bush included the roles of businessman, politician, and statesman. He received an excellent education and attended Yale University. He served in the Navy during World War II and became the youngest pilot in the Navy. After the war, he worked in the oil industry, eventually forming an oil development company. He became the 41st President of America in 1989 and served for four years until 1993. George H. Bush married Barbara Pierce Bush on January 6, 1945. They had five children named George W., Robin, John, Marvin, and Dorothy. Their son George was destined to follow in his father's footsteps to become the 43rd President of America. George H. Bush came into the presidency as one of the most qualified candidates to assume the office, supporting the Republican political party. He was 64 years old when he was inaugurated as the 41st President. Inauguration is a president's swearing-in ceremony. Dan Quayle stood as the vice president. George H. Bush is an imposing figure, standing at 6 feet, 2 inches, and weighs approximately 195 pounds. He has straight brown hair, streaked with gray, blue eyes, and a fair complexion. His lanky physique earned him the nickname Skin. Whilst at Yale, he was accepted into the Skull and Bones Secret Society, which some people believe helped members to make connections with influential people and families to boost their careers. His other nicknames include Bush 41 or Bush the Elder, which distinguish him from his son. During his lifetime, he played a key role in major events of the era. His presidency saw the successful invasion of Panama after Noriega, the leader of Panama, declared a state of war with the U.S. The Exxon Valdez oil spill that contaminated about 1,300 miles of coastline in Alaska. The world then witnessed the end of the Cold War and the breakup of the Soviet Union. The Persian Gulf War, led by the United States, freed Kuwait from Iraqi invaders. During his life, George H. Bush suffered from depression, arthritis, glaucoma, and ulcers. About 20 million Americans develop at least one stomach ulcer during their lifetime. Stress does not cause an ulcer, but it may be a contributing factor. So ends our short biography about the life and presidency of George H. Bush, whose term saw the collapse of the Soviet Union and the end of the Cold War. The next U.S. president was Bill Clinton. This video is one of a series covering all of the American presidents and has been created by www.facts-about.org.uk as a free educational resource. This unique collection of videos has been developed to enable students to gain a fast overview of the lives of each of the U.S. presidents, together with the key events which occurred during their presidency. Discover the range of videos that are available on the Facts About website and use them as a fast, dynamic learning aid which will add variety to conventional study methods and help to increase knowledge retention.